Imagine a weapon system that can unleash a storm of rockets so powerful. It can level enemy positions in seconds, overwhelm defenses, and change the course of a battle. In 2026, the Iranian Fazer 3 multiple launch rocket system has evolved into a fearsome battlefield asset, but what happens when this system faces the advanced countermeasures of the United States military? Today, we break down its capabilities, potential, and price, and see if it can really challenge American dominance. Welcome to Auto Car Crafted, where we bring you the latest in advanced military vehicles, cutting-edge defense systems, and the technology shaping tomorrow's battles. Stay tuned as we dive deep into this beast of firepower and strategy. The Fucha 3 MLRS is an Iranian-developed multiple launch rocket system that has gained notoriety over the years for its destructive punch and ease of deployment. In its 2026 upgraded version, Iran has focused on improved accuracy, longer range, and better survivability on the battlefield. The original Faja 3 carried 12 240mm rockets, but the new version benefits from enhanced guidance technology, potentially inspired by satellite navigation systems. This gives it a level of precision that previous variants lacked, making each strike far more lethal. The 2026 model can launch rockets with ranges reportedly exceeding 45 kilometers, and with updated propellants, these rockets hit harder and faster. Iran has also worked on integrating smarter fuses and warhead designs, which means the system can be adapted for different mission profiles from saturating a large area to targeting specific fortified structures. Against the backdrop of U.S. military capabilities, the Fajri 3 presents an interesting challenge. The U.S. excels in counter-battery radar, precision airstrikes, and electronic warfare. Systems like the Anti-PQ radar can detect incoming rocket fire almost instantly, while assets like the HIMARS or M270 MLRS can respond with pinpoint retaliation. This puts the Fajri 3 in a higher-risk environment when going head-to-head -head with American forces. However, the Iranian doctrine might not be to fight a symmetrical war with the U.S., but rather to use the Fajr 3 as a saturation tool in asymmetric conflicts, where overwhelming volume of fire can temporarily neutralize enemy defenses. In terms of mobility, the 2026 Fajri 3 rides on a heavy-duty truck chassis, capable of rapid relocation to avoid Iran has focused on adding camouflage netting, decoys, and faster reload systems to keep the Fajri 3 in the fight longer. U.S. forces, on the other hand, have spent decades perfecting their shoot and scoot tactics, so the Fajri 3 must constantly adapt to survive on a modern battlefield. One of the key factors in any weapon system is cost. The Fajri 3 is notably cheaper than American counterparts. The estimated cost for a fully operational 2026 Fajr 3 unit, including launcher and a set of rockets, is in the ballpark of $1.80 to $2.5 million, depending on the package and upgrades. Compare that to U.S. systems like the Himmers, which can cost $5 to $6 million without factoring in the precision-guided rockets, and you can see the Fazer 3's appeal for nations looking for high firepower at a lower price. But the trade-off is clear, the Fazer 3 lacks the pinpoint accuracy, digital networking, and battlefield survivability of top-tier U.S. systems. On the global stage, the 2026 Fazer 3 could find customers in regions, where budgets are tight but the need for heavy firepower is high. It may also serve as a deterrent tool for Iran's allies, giving them a rapid response artillery solution without investing in Western systems. However, in direct confrontation with American forces, the Fajri's main hope lies in numbers, mobility, and clever tactics, rather than trying to match us precision technology. Dot, in a future conflict scenario, the question isn't just about raw firepower, it's about survivability, coordination, and adaptability. The U.S. will rely on advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to locate and neutralize threats like the Fazri 3 quickly. Faran, on the other hand, will aim to exploit gaps, launch surprise barrages, and use the chaos to its advantage. The 2026 Fajr 3 MLRS is not the most advanced rocket system in the world, but it is a symbol of cost-effective adaptable firepower. Its price makes it accessible, its mobility makes it dangerous, and its upgrades make it relevant in today's battlefield. But only time will tell if it can survive the overwhelming technological edge of the U.S. military.